In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create this stylized voxel-like scene in under 5 minutes. You'll learn a handy trick that you can use to turn your meshes into blocky voxel art. We'll also be going through rendering and post-processing, so let's get started. First, delete everything in your scene and add in an icosphere. This will be our base. In edit mode, use the box selection tool to select half your mesh and press X to delete. Make sure you do this in wireframe view, or you'll miss parts of the mesh. Now select the top edges and press F to fill it in. Set the shading to smooth, and add a subdivision surface modifier. Let's extrude the top face upwards, and scale it out a little bit. Extruding it again, yeah, that looks good, and applying the scale. Now let's add loop cuts, so that our subsurf doesn't change the overall shape too much. And that's looking good. One thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to move it up a little bit more. So we got a bit more of a def definition there. Perfect. And look at that. That's the island done. Let's move on to the tree. Shift A, add in a cylinder. And let's change the vertex count to 8. And scale it down. Uh, there we go. I'm going to change my snapping method to face. Then holding down control, snap the cylinder to the island. Increase the length of the tree trunk, and add a subdivision surface modifier. Use control R to add loop cuts around each end of the tree. Also, make sure to inset the top face. Play around with scaling and proportions. Set the shading to smooth, and that's our tree trunk done. Let's move on to the leaves. Add in a cube and move it towards the top of the tree. This will become the basis for our leaves. Add in a mirror modifier. Make sure that the axis is set to Y, that the mirror object is the island base, and clipping is turned on. Move the cube away from the center, just so it touches the mirrored object. Now go into edit mode, wireframe, and delete the inside face. Now you should be able to clip the edges together. And if you check, they should be connected. Give your object a subdivision surface modifier and begin modeling your leaves. I'm not going to go through this, but you can get the gist. Ended up extruding, rotating, and scaling things, but try and end up to get a result that looks similar to mine. Duplicate them and rotate them along the Z axis. Move them into position, and once you've done that, Make sure to mirror them on the x-axis as well. And it's done. You've just done a palm tree on a floating island, but it's not done yet. Apply all visual geometry to mesh. Select them all and control J to join. Now, because this isn't all one closed mesh, the easiest way to fix that is to add a remesh modifier and change the voxel depth. So let's do that. Control A to apply. This won't give you great topology, but it's perfectly fine for what we're doing. Now add another remesh modifier, but this time we're going to change the mode to voxel. And ta-da, that's our effect. Now if we change the octree depth up, and that's pretty much it. Do that for every object in the scene, and we're done. There we go. I'm going to quickly go ahead and add a camera, and then texture it, and render it out. Give the tree a nice green color, you might even add some subsurface scattering in there. Make the trunk brown. Now for the ground, uh, just apply the modifiers. Select the top two rows of blocks and give them a sand color. Control I and assign it to a dirt material. You might even want to add some little coconuts. Increase the sample count. I'm going to render this at a resolution of 2048 by 2048. Under film in your rendering settings, set it to transparent. And we're going to do a bit of compositing here. But don't be scared, it's not much. Make sure you check Use Nodes. First thing, add a Mix Node. Use the Alpha channel to control the mixing. Add a Viewer Node so you can see what you're doing. Then change the mix color to a nice bluey green. I'll give you the color I'm using. I'm adding some grain and a vignette in Lightroom. Uh, the other thing I did is I changed the saturation values just to give it an extra little pop. That'll be it for this video. Um, 
Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. You can check out my social medias down below and feel free to subscribe and check out some other of my videos if you enjoyed this one. I'd also like to thank you guys for 100 subscribers and I hope I can keep making videos like this in the future.